Jay Cash and Granger bought a 1986 on our way to the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and we'll pick up a few geocaches on the journey. So why did you join us? Just snipped off the 131 and they're uh, walking now down our uh, trail. Actually, in fact, uh, looks like some snowmobilers have been down here, so it's a bit nice and flat for us. And uh, we're going to go in between the 131 and on the south sides of the road and find this geocache. This one's called Smack Dab in the Middle. So I presume it's between the, uh, the north and south sides of the 131 and we've got about a tenth of a mile to go. Yeah, we're right under the 131 now. Like I say, it says smack dab in the middle. We've got about 70 feet to go. We'll make the find, hopefully. This is where it's pointing right here. abandon this. The snow's quite deep here. Another quick stop to try and pick up a cache. So far we've been out of luck because of most of the caches not being winter friendly. I'm not too sure about this one either. The depth of the snow. There's some deer tracks. Wander around Kirkland Community College, uh, just near Grayling uh, in northern Michigan. So let's see if we make the find. The snow is quite deep. in the Mackinac Straits which divides the lower port of Michigan with the UP, the upper peninsula of Michigan and we're crossing the Mackinac Bridge which connects the two portions of Michigan. The Mighty Mac is another name for the bridge. It's interesting because way back in 1836, uh, before Michigan became a state, uh, there was a dispute in uh, the southern part of Michigan on the Ohio border. The uh, Toledo Strip was under dispute to which state would get it and it was settled. And uh, in that settlement, Michigan was given the Upper Peninsula, which became part of the state of Michigan. See if we can get it. So it's in the stop sign. Let's see if we can go make the find. It's be here somewhere. Well, I think we'll come back in the spring for this one. 